hello friends welcome to my channel in this tutorial i going to show you what is request in laravel and how we can use it basically what is request request is a one kind of http request when we submit a form when we submit a page and that time for example this is one form and when i click on save that time this form take one action it's call one request laravel provide by default http request handling feature and it's provide object oriented way to interact with the current http request which is handled by your application and you can also retrieve inputs files cookie that were submitted with the http request for example i submit this form so i submit name with the request so i can easily get this name inside the laravel using the illuminate http request so i going to show you how to create a request i sh show you the structure of the request and how you can use how you can get data how you can get cookie in this tutorial so first of all i going to show you where request file placed we have file structure video tutorial into the channel so you can prefer that video as well i put video link into the description so you can easily find it but let me show you request directory placed inside the http directory which is located under the app directory app directory inside the root then you need to go into the http and then you can find a request directory here are example of all of the different different file with request which is i was created previously and now i going to show you how you can create one request so let me clear the terminal first of all you can create a request file using the artisan command php artisan make colon request and then you need to specify request name for example i going to create tag request and fire and you can see tag request created inside the request directory and now see here we have two functions inside the tag request first one is authorize and second one is rules this by default false but if we want use this request with authenticated user then we need to specify here true so you can use this request when user is authenticated second one is rules you need to specify all the validation rules inside this array also third parameter it's optional but you can define public function messages let me show you and explain what this function do here when you define validation here the time laravel create validation message through the framework but if you want to specify your custom message when for example i specify a required here for one field let me specify name and i specify required now when you submit a form the time laravel generate message name is a required field but i want to customize it the time i need to specify message here name dot required for example mm, and let me show you name dot required and let me specify validation message please enter name 
if you want to use laravel by default messages that time you no need to specify this method inside the request now you have question where this request we should use basically this request used inside the controller and i going to show you one example with the category and here you see one form with the create category form and i was created one category request by default now you can see here authorize is true and i specified rules inside the model and i specify one array inside the category model so let me open and show you here i created one static rules array so i can use this array multiple time for example i create two request for category one for create category second for edit category because my rules is different basically i use this rules and also i add additional rules in edit category i can do it so i specify global array but if you want to specify directly inside your request you can do it it's also best practice so you can specify like that right now i show you this create category request i used inside its store function so whenever my request come here the time this request check the validations and throw the validations if everything is fine then allow request to go next step then i get inputs from this request this is the instance of this request so i can easily get everything so first of all let me dd this request instance so you can easily understand the request structure now let's refresh now let me specify name php is a one category and you can see this request container redirect server query request attributes lots of thing inside the request token files query request and our request data there inside the request now let me show you one example how we can get it we have lots of method to get this request first of all we can use all method to get all the parameters from the request let me refresh and you can see two parameter we found one is token and second one is name we have one tutorial for csrf token so you can understand in that tutorial and let me now get name i want to access only one field here that time you can use get method and specify key of the parameter inside the get function as a argument so let's save and try again now i able to access the value of the name parameter next thing is you can check name parameter is exist inside request or not you can use has method and you get true and false as a result so lots of method there inside the request you can get easily also i think input method is there and let me remove name and let's try to refresh and again we get two 
parameters also you can get cookie let's specify cookie let me save and refresh and you can see it talk on laravel package tutorial session and remember web talk on we get cookie so you can easily get cookie from the request also you can get user as well authenticated user let me refresh and you can see here is attributes and here is the users information this user is logged in right now and you can easily access user sometime we fire query inside the database or we use auth for get the user but if you are using authenticated request then you no need to fire any extra query you easily get user from your current request also you can get header from the request using header method all the headers is there also if you want to store ip from the request you can easily get it using ip method let me save and show you this is my ip so you can easily get it anything from the request using illuminate http request let me show one validation message for example i remove this name and try to submit and see the name field is required now let me customize and show you the message public function messages return name dot required and here specify method please enter name let me save again the name field is required and let me save and you can see please enter name so you can easily set validation message you can easily set validation here as well for example i want valid email in this field then i should write email validation here then let me save and refresh and specify php save and i get validation the name must be a valid email address now i going to specify email address save and you can see here i get the request here because this request pass the validation and i get ip also you can get file using file function and you need to specify name here also you can get all the files using this file function inside the request let me refresh and show you right now no files because i doesn't pass any file in my current request so you can easily set validation you can easily get your data cookies and many more from the request and also you can refer this official documentation all kind of rules listed here you can easily learn easily set and easily use thank you for watching video please do not forget to subscribe my channel thank you